The film commences with a joyous wedding celebration, marked by lively festivities. The bride's affluent and renowned parents revel in the merriment. Amid a captivating singer's performance, the unexpected transpires, a sudden and shocking murder of the bride's father by Vincent Brazil, a skilled assassin disguised as a waiter. Swiftly escaping, Vincent eludes pursuing security personnel, effortlessly defeating them like a superhero in the kitchen. Unfazed, he exits the house, returning to his apartment. Simultaneously, in another part of town, a new subplot unfolds. Meet Roland Flint, a skilled assassin grappling with a challenging dual role, caring for his comatose wife, Anna, a consequence of a clash with a notorious drug lord, while evading corrupt cops seeking revenge for his exposure of their illicit activities. Simultaneously, Interpol heavyweight Wilson Herod fumes over the leak of their shady dealings, compounded by Flint obtaining their ill-gotten gains. Determined to retrieve their dirty money, Wilson and his team devise a plan to lure Flint out of hiding. A suggestion involving a polo match emerges, setting the stage for a high-stakes pursuit and intensifying the suspense in this intricate narrative. Yaker, the nefarious drug lord responsible for Flint's wife's coma, becomes the target of Flint's thirst for revenge. Wilson and his crew orchestrate Polo's prison escape, knowing Flint seeks vengeance against him. Mrs. Provolsku, the motel owner where Flint hides, alerts him to a mysterious meeting. Flint confronts the stranger, Kaylee, who proposes a million-dollar deal to eliminate Yakker upon his release. Skeptical, Flint declines, declaring he's done with assassination. Meanwhile, Vincent relaxes in an antique shop, meeting a character named Bandian, hinting at unfolding intrigues and adding depth to the evolving storyline. Fresh from completing a job, Vincent encounters Bandian, who pitches another lucrative assignment, eliminate Polo Yaker. The enticing offer includes a bag of diamonds valued at half a million dollars. Intrigued, Vincent accepts. Post-action, returning to his apartment, he encounters his neighbor October, a prostitute accompanied by her pimp, Daniel. They exchange words before Vincent discreetly conceals the diamonds. Meanwhile, Polo's release from jail rekindles Flint's traumatic memories when Polo and his gang brutalized Flint's wife in his presence. The evolving narrative blends suspense, interpersonal dynamics, and the unfolding complexities of Vincent and Flint's contrasting worlds. Haunted by memories, Flint accepts Kaylee's offer but discovers Vincent, his neighbor, has already claimed the job. Yet Flint's motive shifts. He seeks Polo's whereabouts, not the reward. Convincing Colleen, who initially craved revenge, Flint shares his wife's tragic tale. Collie supports the cause, furnishing Flint with a sniper rifle reminiscent of his past hits. Setting up a covert camera in Anna's room, Flint enlists Mrs. Pavlaskiu for vigilance. As now Bondian informs Vincent of Polo's trial, both men independently plot Polo's demise, vengeance, and strategic preparations in this evolving thriller. With the courthouse in his crosshairs, Flint aims at Polo and Danzo as they emerge, but a misfire hits Vincent's van. Vincent's shot inadvertently strikes Danzo. Unperturbed, Flint charges toward Polo, determined to end him. However, Godfrey and the persistent adversaries gun him down unexpectedly. Police sirens wail in response, but Flint manages a swift escape, evading capture. Godfrey and Shell, savvy as ever, vanish, leaving a blazing car to cover their tracks. Polo grapples with grief over Danzo's demise, the tragedy intensifying the complex web of alliances, vendettas. In the aftermath of the courthouse chaos, Polo, fueled by vengeance for his brother's death, commands his gang to uncover the assailant's identity. Concurrently, Flint, nursing a gunshot wound, finds solace and aid from Cully. Meanwhile, Vincent, aggravated by Daniel's disturbance, intervenes in a confrontation, evicting Daniel for mistreating October. Vincent extends his hospitality to October, left stranded by Daniel, but with a stern warning not to tamper with his belongings. Amidst the tension, Vincent receives a call from now Bandian, urgently instructing him to conclude the assignment promptly due to escalating pressure from their client. Now Bandian also discloses crucial information, setting the stage for a complex narrative interwoven with revenge, alliances, and unforeseen complications. Vincent races to Polo's location, leaving October behind. However, Flint, one step ahead, eliminates Polo's henchmen and infiltrates the building in pursuit of justice for his wife left in a coma. A dramatic encounter unfolds as Vincent confronts Flint, triggering a fierce duel between seasoned assassins, bullets filling the air. In a tense standoff, they realize their shared purpose, both seeking retribution against Polo.
Flint candidly reveals his quest for justice, a poignant connection emerging as they recognize their common ground. Propelled by a mutual desire for revenge, they forge a killer alliance, a symbiotic partnership where Flint secures vindication and Vincent secures his payday. Their collaboration forms a potent force in the lethal realm they inhabit, crafting an intricate narrative of shared motives and deadly expertise. As Flint and Vincent set their sights on Polo and his gang, their first stop is at Sita's arms dealer Bartok, a collaborator with Polo. Flint adopts a tough approach, coercing Bartok into revealing Polo's whereabouts. However, Vincent takes a more extreme route, fatally shooting Bartok, a move that doesn't align with Flint's mission focused solely on Polo. To reconcile their differing goals, Vincent proposes a strategic twist, staging a weapons heist from Bartok's arsenal, incorporating a cutting-edge laser rifle. This cunning plan aims to camouflage their true motives under the guise of a routine robbery. Meanwhile, Polo discovers Vincent's role in his brother's demise, prompting him to order his gang to eliminate Vincent. Back at Vincent's apartment, he tends to October's injuries, inflicted during the recent chaos, setting the stage for a complex and suspenseful narrative. As Flint and Vincent form a tight bond through a heartfelt conversation, Kaylee, the orchestrator of the Polo job, discovers their collaboration. Kali advises Flint to let Vincent handle Polo alone, but Flint has grander ambitions. He seeks retribution against Wilson and his corrupt cohorts. Aware that these dirty cops won't relent until they recover their ill-gotten gains, Flint infiltrates Wilson's residence, delivering a menacing ultimatum to back off. The following day, Wilson seethes with anger over Flint's audacious threat, prompting him to command Godfrey and Shell to neutralize Flint within two days. Meanwhile, Polo, informed of Nalbandian's knowledge about Vincent, joins forces with Godfrey, Shell, and their crew, setting the stage for an intricate web of alliances, vendettas, and impending confrontations in this suspenseful narrative. Polo, offered a deal by Wilson and his corrupt allies, agrees to collaborate against Flint in exchange for a lifetime of immunity. The catch! Polo demands information on Vincent's whereabouts from Nalbandian. Polo and his crew apprehend Kali, extracting intel through torture before disposing of him. Now, Bandian then approaches Vincent with a proposal, assist in a trap for Flint at City Hall, using Polo as bait. Now, Bandian sweetens the deal, offering triple the usual reward. Vincent contemplates the offer and ultimately contacts Flint, revealing Polo's scheduled appearance at City Hall the following day. The intricate web of alliances, betrayals, and high-stakes strategies unfolds, as each character navigates their motives and loyalties in this evolving narrative. United to confront Polo, a new twist unfolds. Daniel, seeking revenge, betrays Vincent by revealing his address to Polo. The next day, as Flint and Vincent prepare for their respective roles, Polo's gang, aided by dubious Interpol operatives, ambushes Flint. Engaged in a fierce battle, Flint fights valiantly but succumbs, paralyzed and on the verge of capture. In this critical moment, he locks eyes with Vincent the betrayer. Meanwhile, having carried out now Bandian's scheme, Vincent anticipates his reward when Polo disrupts the plan. Polo holds October hostage in Vincent's apartment, adding an unexpected layer of tension to the unfolding narrative. Racing against time, Vincent returns home to a lifeless October on his bed, Polo absent. Furious, Vincent relinquishes his reward to now Bandian, driven not by cash, but by the desire to find the corrupt Interpol agents holding Flint captive. Meanwhile, in an abandoned factory, Godfrey and Shell torment Flint for the whereabouts of the money he took. Unyielding, Flint claims he squandered it all, enraging his captors. Just as they're poised to kill him, Vincent storms in, guns blazing, eliminating Godfrey's crew. Apologizing for the setup, Vincent pledges aid to Flint in avenging Polo. Flint forgives, but a looming worry remains. Polo's retaliation. Targeting Anna, Polo contacts Mrs. Pavlescu, desperately urging her to relocate Anna. Tragically, Polo's gang intercepts, ruthlessly killing Mrs. Pavlescu. Alerted, Flint implores Vincent to rush to his aid. The next morning unfolds at Flint's residence, the epicenter of impending action. They strategize, preparing for the inevitable showdown. Soon, Flint receives a video from Polo, revealing Anna's hostage situation and Polo's demands. Surrender within 15 minutes, or Anna faces dire consequences. Forced into a perilous decision, Flint and Vincent, armed with a secret weapon, a remote-controlled laser rifle from Bartok's stash, brace for a fight against Polo's heavily armed gang, determined not to go down without a fierce struggle. 
Utilizing the rifle to neutralize Polo's crew, Flint and Vincent engage in a fierce showdown. Flint, armed with a dagger, corners Polo, compelling him to apologize to Anna before meeting justice. Simultaneously, Vincent confronts Daniel, the informant who cost October her life. Flint, equipped with a sniper rifle, executes his brand of justice by taking down the corrupt big shot, Wilson. The movie concludes with Vincent memorializing October, haunted by the brevity of their time together and shouldering self-blame. The narrative underscores the caution against crashing weddings, pursuing vengeance, and entering assassin alliances without readiness for a convoluted plot and soap opera-level drama.